you for joining us again in 2019, which I firmly believe is going to be a fantastic fishing season, as we've seen it already kick off this summer. Now first up, it's never too early to start. Let's join Rook. Bonnie, can you jump in the lake for about five minutes? Because I'm teaching my son how to make a dingle dangle here. And I feel dingle dangles are way more important than Bonnie's at this stage. Okay. Drop the mic. Bye Bonnie. Right. So this is a dingle dangle. We're going to make the bottom nice and round like that. So the sinker goes in there. Okay. Okay. Then we're going to add some foam. Okay. And then some toothpicks. The reason why we're going to do that is so the bait holds on it nicely. Okay, the toothpicks is to grip it to the bait. Sometimes the bait's a bit soft and mushy when you're fishing for flat fish. So we want the toothpick to hold the bait. Then we're going to put lots of cotton and we're going to throw it all together as one piece. Okay. Okay, high five. Knuckles. Yeah. Right. We're at Port Durnford, uh, an absolute diamond smash, people are tight everywhere. Um, I lost my phone on my first fish to the water, so I got no pictures, but this is diamond number 8 for me, uh, out of 9 throws. I'm on the new Dawa tournament, and I'm using the Saltus 8000, 40 pound J-Braid. Rock's been out almost every day, getting stuck in there. To get the catches and well done on some really great catches right so we here at Durnford I got another diamond nice size I uh, got that on the Dawa Saltus 8000 and uh, this new Dawa tournament I'm using 100 pound J braid multicolor and 50 pound J braid underneath. And uh, we're gonna get this thing back. Just got my personal best shad, absolute giant. And uh, we're gonna set it free. Now this is a beast of a shad at 79 centimeters equals to 6.5 kilograms. Well done, Rock. Now Prendlin's also been out joining in the fun with some great catches. Guys, we are on the proper fish here, fishing Siola, and uh, I think it's a honeycomb, where you put pick me up, yeah. using the Elite, sold this 8000 with 50 pound J blade, so I threw the frigate tape, nice FN money frigate tape, and I thought, the fish is going to the left a bit, which I don't want it to. To go to the right. It's going to become a bit difficult on the left. You must try. I'm all excited. That's my last fishing, uh, last fishing day here at Desert. Guys, I think it's a honeycomb. We're going to manage to get it through the foul rocks here. It's a nice size. Okay, great. Good to start. Around the rocks. Now out of all the skates and rays, the honeycomb is probably one of the most respected opponents, giving you a real run for your money, as with any honey. How's it guys? What a beast, what I came here to Kesaran for. Beautiful honey, on a 13 hour ring soy hook. My grinder elite, no sorry, it's the grinder tournament, the new rod. It's going to be a released, 50 pound J break. And the salt is 10,000. I wouldn't have landed this fish if it wasn't for the 70 pound J break. Pull it right through the bricks. I don't know if it's behind me. It's a lot of brick. Very, very far. But yeah, awesome. Thanks to Mo for helping me. Sean, buddy. Sean. Sure. Gonna get a couple of photos quickly. Okay. Gonna release the thing. And of course, I land. Wherever fishing is, Anant is present, who came for a quick visit on the Zululand coast and left a big mark and some good releases. How's it? We got a double up here. Myself and Louis now. We had El Crop. We both drowned out baits. And uh, yeah, I'm almost to the bottom here. And he's almost to the bottom there. And Louis, let's see your spool. 
<laughs> Both of us. So yeah, I think we're in for a long haul, yeah? So yeah, I'm using my 50, Saltica 50 HA. And my salt is uh, heavy, 14 foot. 0.58 uh, kingfisher on the top. So yeah, I think it should be enough, hopefully. But there have been monsters out here lately. So yeah, back from KZN, straight here, in the game. Catch you later. And it wasn't long when he got back into Cape Town, he was stuck at it again. <laughs> this is hard work, guys. Hard work. And that's what we signed up for. Just need to walk this thing out. That'll be the inch. I've got something on here, I don't know what it is, but it's all like tangled up. The fish is coming upside down there in the water. So we're trying to go fetch it quickly. I don't know what it is, could be a raggy, but it looks like it's tangled up or something. The fish is upside down. Let's hope the fish is okay. It looks like a nice raggy. For some odd reason, I think it was wrapped up with it. So I was pulling it upside down. Uh, it seems to be free now, so yeah. I hooked it in the back, that's why we battled so, we battled with it so much. Okay, let's take a couple of bottles. I'll show you photos later on of the fish that this light you caught. Unbelievable one, must have been about 80 kilos. I'll put some posts up there on Rock's uh, post and show you the photos of the, the raggies we've been tussling here. It's a bit rainy, a bit weary, but you know, the fish are biting, it's all that counts. This raggie's just on the back line there at the moment. Head shaking, head shaking, doing the things you shouldn't do. And then we join Mr. Thompson. When Ray's not busy helping anglers and making videos, he is definitely next to the water with a rod in his hand. Here he is, he's in the pool in front of you, coming very quickly toward me. Marius Bard also joined in the action from far south, getting stuck into a really good sized racket to shark, just reminding us that down south things are also happening. And very sneaky sneaky, Mo's been adding the catches to the list. I'm sure if you've been out fishing, you've spotted him on several beaches wherever the fish are coming out. Well done Mo on a list of fish already. And as a lot of you probably know already, if you're looking for Marcus Potgitter, he's behind the back line and reaping in the catches one by one, almost on a daily basis. Young Ryan also got stuck into the action and Mike Pereira got rewarded with a really good sized duck bull. Yeah. Right, we're fishing here at Matikulu. I've had a long hard session to get this hook up and I finally got something on. It's been raggies all night, so I think this is a raggy. I'm on the Dawa Saltus 8000 and the Dawa tournament 15 foot 
and uh, this rod's going to be available early next year. And we're just going to land this raggy and get my fish for the night. How's it guys? On with number three, raggy number three. Yeah, the first two weren't that big. This one also is about the same range of maybe 100 kilo. So yeah, give me a bit of gears here. Yeah. A lot of head shakes. Yeah. Well, the BG 8000 Max Seal is holding up quite well. Very well, in fact. Yeah, and the Elite. Love it. Guys, this is my third one. Yeah, awesome. Um, yeah, we got a couple today. And. Um, I think we're going to catch a couple more. It's fun. I think every bait we're putting out, we're getting a pull. That's what fishing is all about, getting a pull. Uh, earlier on, we shared a couple of our experiences with two other uh, juniors. They were all excited. The one guy landed a nice bronzy. Sorry, not bronzy. Raggy. This is KZN, not Cape Town. And the other guy landed a nice Java shark. So, I think it's our turn now. So, anyway, we're going to get this baby quick. Take his hooks out, 12 volt tuna circle in the corner perfectly. Once again, a lucky cap. Let's go. Now, there's been some good fishing and some really good smashes. Some of the ambassadors got together to get some other anglers into the experience as well. And of course, at the same time, also got stuck into the action. Beginner's luck. Tower magic. Tower magic, boys. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. And of course, Jace never gets left behind with some really good raggy diamond, some other flatfish, and a good sized giant guitar fish. Dale Mac can't stay away from the action either, with some really good catches as well. And even when the weather is bad, nothing wrong to search for some action on the freshwater side. Mike Rogers also got stuck into the action. And of course, wherever there's a scale, a fin, a teeth, or anything with regards to fish, Dean Reddy will be around. Now this time is absolutely time to spend with your family and close ones. And most of the ambassadors did exactly that. Their personal families, but also the ASFN family, which is all you supporters and every angler that loves the sport and keen to learn. Hey Dean. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Hold it. Hold it here. Hold it tight. Thanks guys for making an assertive effort in putting a couple of youngsters as well as other anglers into some great fishing experiences. Baby shark. <laughs> Uh, guys, it's a bit slow in the morning, so we're trying to get the right, he's got some action there, a couple of murkies around, so we're going to persist, I'm sure the diamonds are going to come. Good, good crowd, probably about 40 odd angles in the beach today, so yeah, we'll see you with the diamond. Quite hard. And you want to put it back now? Okay, let, let, let's hold your rod, you can put it, whoa. <laughs> right, there we go. Back. Yeah, come. You have to go very. You don't throw it in. You have to put it in the water. Come, walk with me. Walk, walk. Uh oh. Okay, you have to pick it up and put it back. Okay, I'll help you. Well done. Guys, my dad's on with a raggy. What hey, a dad. Fun, fun, fun. <laughs> you like it? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> now we got the, the two grandkids here also, my brother and sister's kids. They also keen. They want a piece of this shock, so they're gonna triple tag team this thing. So let's see what happens. Jordan, yeah? He's on with one right now as well. A 
lovely bait. He threw, well, his old man threw it about an hour ago for him. He's gone away with a lovely fish here. Carry on, my boy. Carry okay. on. Basically, what Jordan's got here is a Java shark, better known to us as a guava shark. And the reason you can tell is it feels like absolute snot. Looks like a Zambi, maybe Zambi. And I tell you what, this, this shark can be as feisty as can be. A lovely little Java shark. I don't know what's been happening here. There's definitely something that's gone on here. But this is a lovely Java shark. Well done. Thank you very much. Let's get this thing sorted out for you. Be very careful taking the hooks out of this. A special thank you to all our viewers and subscribers that's following ASFN. You guys are the ASFN family. Remember to send all your catches to Grind Elite at asfn.co.za. And remember to subscribe. Also click the little bell button if you want to get regular updates on all new uploads. Remember to innovate, educate and conservate.